Hi biologists, let's start by looking at the learning objectives for this lesson. At the end of this section and following the biology syllabus, you should be able to understand the organizational complexity of the flowering plant. What does this mean? What are we trying to understand? Well, basically, you have to understand the organizational complexity, in other words, the organization of the parts of the flowering plant. Let's go. Let's start by looking at one of the characteristics of life. Organization. Life means that living things must be highly organized. The organizational feature of life is that living things are made of cells. So the definition of organization is that it is the way that living things are arranged into cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, individuals and populations to fulfill their functional need to allow them to carry out metabolism or chemical reactions and continuity allowing them to survive and reproduce. Some organisms like bacteria and the amoeba are single-celled or unicellular whereas most organisms are multicellular. Cells contain all the chemicals that are needed for life. Cells are organized into tissues and in turn tissues are organized into organs and a series of organs will form an organ system and a group of systems will form an individual. A collection of individuals of the same species, remember we had that in ecology, will form a population. With regard to plant structure, we will take an individual plant, a plant's body, and show that it is made of organ systems and that systems are made of organs and organs are made of tissues, finally ending with the idea that tissues are made from individual cells. So if you like, we're going to work backwards from the body and end up with cells, the smallest unit of living organisms. When studying the structure of flowering plants, we are really studying plant anatomy. Anatomy is the study of the body. People in medicine study anatomy and so do artists. So here we are studying plant anatomy, which is the study of the plant's body and learning how to draw it. If you were asked to draw a human, you would typically draw it with a head, two arms and two legs. Here, we're being asked to draw a typical flowering plant. So we will have to include the structures that you would normally find in most plants. From a biology point of view, individuals are made of organ systems. So where are the organ systems in a plant's body? Well, the first organ system is the shoot system, which is basically everything above the ground. It came shooting out of the soil. And the other organ system is the root system. So, working backwards and looking at these systems, we should be able to see that they are composed of organs. So where are the organs in the shoot system? The first organ is the flower, used for reproduction. Another organ is the stem. A third organ are the leaves. They carry out photosynthesis, as we know already. The fourth type of organ are the buds. There are different types of buds. There is the terminal bud, also called the apical bud. I like to call it the terminal bud because it's found at the end of the shoot. When the terminal bud or apical bud is present, it prevents the growth of the side bud or the lateral buds. There is a third type of bud called the axillary bud. This is found in the angle that the leaf makes with the stem. 
so called because axle is another word for angle in maths. So in a nutshell, the shoot system is composed of the organs, flowers, stem, leaves and buds. What are the organs in the root system? The first organ is the main root, so called because it is the root that emerged originally from the seed. There are also side roots. So in a nutshell, the organs in the root system are the main root and the side root. Now, there are two other terms that we have to know, but we have to be very clear that these are not organs. The first term is the word node. A node is a place where the leaf is attached to the stem. If the leaf falls off the stem, quite often it will leave a mark on the stem where it was attached originally. So a node is a place where the leaf is attached to the stem. An internode is the distance between two nodes, or in other words, it's the distance between two leaves. As the point of this lesson is to understand the organization of flowering plants, you need to make it your business to be able to draw this diagram. Remember, large, clear, well-labeled diagrams. Practice in a jotter. Now that we understand that an organism is made up of systems, and here we can see that the plant is made up of a shoot system and a root system, we also see clearly that systems are made of organs. So here, the shoot system is made up of the organs, flowers, stems, leaves and buds, and the root system is made up of the organs, main root and side roots. What we're going to do next is we're going to take each one of these organs and talk about their structure and function with a view to showing that these organs are made of tissues. Now that we've reached the end of our lesson, have we achieved our objective? Are you able to understand the organizational complexity of the flowering plant?